So we may be at the shop, but we're not in the shop. We are in the shop. We are in the shop. We're collecting something because we're doing something. Something. Well, you know what we're doing because of the thumbnail and the... Oh, yeah, the movie, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we're at the shop because your tank got delivered here. Yep. Like, uh, two months ago? Yeah, a long time ago, yeah. Before babies and that, so... Um, yeah. We're, uh, we're going to have to transport it. This didn't need a long intro. Let's just move the... Let's move the yeah. tank. What else do we need? Do we need any supplies whilst we're here? Yeah, my sand hasn't arrived. Your sand? Yeah, I've got some here then. Okay. We've got to pick up sand. I, what do you mean, your sand? You've you've bought sand from elsewhere? No, 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 no. One of my friends in another company were going to send me some sand. Ah, okay. So, well, I'll let you off. Though. Yeah, Could that's have said. Right. <laughs> some new sand. But yeah, I'll pick up some sand. I got rock. Do you know what we're doing? Because I'm I don't. This is your tank, remember? I'm just here for filming and friendly advice. Friendly advice. You've got some interesting wood, haven't you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> cut. Which rock? Well, I've got. From my old tank, I've got tons of really big, cool cobbles. Okay. Which are currently sat in my garden. I love a cobble. Yeah, I, I know, and that's what I think I'm going to use. Yeah, yeah. Not that we don't like these, it's no, just that... I want it. I was going to go for a grey, but yeah, I think just because they're there and I've got a lot of them and there's some really chunky boys. Okay, we'll do that. Get them. Quick little update on this. My <laughs> battery's about to die, so um, if it cuts out whilst I'm talking, then you know why. But all the discus just doing so good, all active and out the front now. Look at this shoal of, uh, of the gold tetras as well, all living harmoniously together. And down the bottom, we've got the uh, Bolivian rams, who seem to have taken residence in this section. Oh, it's so good looking, such a nice tank. We will be needing the trolley. Yeah, we do need the trolley. Why oh, not? No, oh, nice shirt, Matt. Nice shirt you got there. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> I've kitted him out. <laughs> if you're interested, I'll leave a link above to go and get one. Matt, you look like you're about to drop in on a half pipe. <laughs> On this? Yeah. No. <laughs> the cap and like, yeah, you just, I mean, you, Matt's uh, um, used to be like mountain biking and all about biking, so you're, you are an extreme sportsman yeah, anyway, so, so that's why it fits. I could, I could give it a go. <laughs> so this is Matt's interesting piece of wood, not interesting wood, no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've just had a big pallet of wood arrive. So you'd like to go through that? Yeah. We'll see. Okay. Um, that is massive. So there's the tank. I don't think we can make out any addresses. So let me go closer so everyone can see where you live, Matt. That's um, all right. There's no address on there. My uh, address ain't on there. It's only oh, the shop. Uh, well, only what, the shop's a, what a dumb thing to say. Yeah. And this shouldn't be too hard at all, should it? No. It seems not too heavy. Are we doing it? Uh, you know I'm not allowed to heavy lift. <laughs> <laughs> With those arms? <laughs> Hang on, oh, okay. Oh, we're trolleying it, oh yeah, fine, this is fine. Yeah, just do it on your own, Matt. <laughs> right. You've got the power. Oh, uh, Microphone dropped. Uh-oh. Done? Yep, we're on. <laughs> yes. Please don't fall off, because it'll probably be my fault if it does. Quite a thick blast. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Are you wondering why we're going through the shop when we could just go out the front entrance? I am. I'm also wondering why I'm taking the tank first. Oh, Martin's coming with us, though, isn't he? Yeah, so we can fit both of them. We can fit both in, so it's fine. This can go in my car. One in one. One in one, one in the other. In case everyone's wondering, there's greenness in the water because you do treatments these there every Tuesday? Uh, or not, just uh, when the deliveries come in. So obviously we only treat when necessary. Um, but yeah, last night they'd have had a big delivery in, uh, a couple of boxes from Peru Ooh. and... Another any any new fish it. for the rare tetra? There's a few, there's a few Corydoras and things that I quite like the look of. There's some big skunk Corys that came in. Oh yeah, in, I so like skunks. Possibilities, but uh, yeah, we've got some other Corys as well that I really like. So we're way off fishing up at the moment, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, it, like it's still in a box. Let's tank up. <laughs> yeah, let's tank up. Let's tank up first. <laughs> and it would have to rain, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just thought this is quite an interesting shot. I'm I'm not doing anything. Look, it looks like I'm doing something, but I'm not. <laughs> It's still quite hot, even though it's raining. Yeah, it's warm. This is the back entrance, by the way. Yeah, Not open to the public. And there we are, Matt's car. Some good balancing skills. <laughs> you get used to I it. I feel like this is... Don't, please don't trip on that. <laughs> Pivot. Pivot. <laughs> 
I can't come in unless I'm invited like a vampire. Ready? This is the game, space. Oh, it's going to look so good there as well. Done. Who wants to meet Matt's missus and baby? No, just Matt's missus. Oh. Baby baby's, baby's oh, baby's gone. Asleep. <laughs> this is Katie. <laughs> Say hello to the world, Katie. Hi. I think people... Oh, no, if they've got my Instagram, they would have seen you. Yeah, but, yeah. And the baby is asleep. I've had permission to film in here, by the way, before everyone goes nuts. Oh, right there. I was there looking at the bouncer, like, where, where is he? <laughs> He's sleeping. He won't be sleeping for long. With, oh, it's shaking. Yeah, it's a rocket. Oh, my goodness, look yeah, at you've this. You've got to have the mod cons to keep the babies. Didn't asleep. have this when I was growing babies. No. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm waking him up. Stop. <laughs> and tank. Yeah, get rid of that. <laughs> Like a glove. Perfect. Yeah, that does. Yeah, and it's it's in line as well with yeah. everything, so it's it's really good. When it was all empty, I was tempted to go the whole length, but it was a bit much. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, I think it's like 18 feet or 19 feet or something, but I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> Seemed like a lot of work. Yeah, exactly. Until you got it running like autopilot mode, yeah, which would it. be mumps. Oh, he, yeah, 19 foot of plants is a lot of plants. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I know I can sort you out with that. Yeah, I know actually, a guy. No, you can sort yourself out with that, <laughs> yeah, actually. Fair, yeah, I know, I know a few people. Now for the dangerous bit. The glass. The dangerous bit. Are you, are you nervous for this? No. No? I, I, you guys have moved so many times, Yeah, I was going to say, well, this is like, like, and I know the layout of this. It's when you rock up to a shop. We've done it many times. Rock up to a customer's house and there's like a flight of 50 steps. <laughs> or, I don't know, the house is built on the side of a hill. I'll let you go backwards, you know. You know, you know, know the layout, layout of the house. <laughs> oh my goodness, and there's something about fresh glass, isn't there? Because if it's my tank, it doesn't stay like that for long. There's fingerprints all over it. The glass is on, the tank is up. Someone forgot to record it. <laughs> <laughs> I just pressed record because we were chatting. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna work. It looks good, it doesn't, like sometimes tanks can look like they come out in the room too far. Yeah. But yours is perfect there. This is what I was hoping for, and it might end up getting a plant. I don't know, something. Yes, right, we have a tank in place. Now, the most important uh, thing here is, Katie, are you happy with it? Is it okay? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh brilliant, okay. Oh my goodness, that's bright. Whoa! <laughs> Dalmatians. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I think, you know, they, they will settle. They usually do, don't they? Oh, yeah. They'll settle once we start. Doing the... Let's give it 20 minutes. <laughs> Hello, hello. <laughs> We're calm. We're good? Your little heart is like racing. <laughs> right, lighting is now going on. I was going to say in, but... And Matt has come up with like this genius thing that he's going to do. <laughs> but first of all, we need a hole in the ceiling. Yeah. The main light is going to be a Kessel light. What? What's the Kessel? Uh, Kessel 360. Kessel 360. Now, the <laughs> Kessel is like high, high end. It's like, it's not cheap at all. No. So this is the cream of the crop, isn't it? Pretty much. They're yeah. right up there, Kessler. Yeah. So these guys are going to be. Um, yeah. They aren't. There's not many that are brighter or better. It's the exact opposite to my whole fish room. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. of the lights in my fish room on every tank <laughs> still don't come to the cost of that. Yeah. But they, I know they look amazing. Oh, you've tooled up, Matt. <laughs> yep. Ready to go. Maybe. This is. Uh, this is going to be. How good are you with tools and DIY? Really. No. Like, no. you're not very good. I'm all right. I'm more, I'm more artsy than I am building. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like painting things and sanding things down and making them look pretty. But when it comes to structural, structural. yeah, no, that's Martin's job, who we've okay. just sent back to the shop. Oh no, we should have got him to. <laughs> if this ceiling comes down, we'll have an open plan ceiling as well as an open plan house. That'd be cool. Yeah, it'd be fine. And a fireman's pole. Oh <gasps> yeah. Into the tank. And a death slide. <laughs> yeah. Well, Have you know. measured, Matt? Is everything measured no, up? Katie, does that look central, look? Yeah. This is pressure, because if you say yes, and it's not right... It's your fault. Yeah, so that's now, what... I knew what you were doing there. I knew what you were doing. <laughs> passing right. over the... Right here, look, it's there. Is that central, my love? Let me have a look yeah, as well, Matt. So. Do that. Do it again. I can't see you're in the way. Yeah, that'll do. Who's he? It's not my house. Yeah, you all right? <laughs> I'm just going to catch it, because it's not really bad. Please don't go for a pipe. <laughs> 
I don't think I caught any of that in there. <laughs> a little bit. It's alright, we'll hoover the tank up. No, it's not gonna go in. I need to, Hammer. Oh, that's that. <laughs> Please don't. Oh, there we go. I could just see that going straight through the ceiling. <laughs> I was worried more about dropping your hammer oh, in yeah. the tank. Yeah. I wasn't going to show this bit, but it... Right, excuse all the building stuff. This is Matt's idea. He's got an upside down lampshade. No. <laughs> it's a planter that yeah. you hang. And yeah. there's normally two layers to it, but we can't do that because of space issues. Um, it's not going to space. I don't know why I said that. Um... <laughs> space issues. <laughs> Existential crisis. Um, yeah, so that hooks now onto that point. Look at that genius. And then you can attach the kettle to the bottom, but also this plants can go to the top and come all the way down. Aren't you clever? It's good Not just beautiful. beautiful yourself, your ideas. And uh, you have struck gold here, haven't you, Katie? <laughs> yeah. Absolute gold. <laughs> thing is, Katie's the clever one, you see. That's the, yeah. that's the thing. We're just stupid idiots that yeah, go around I, I, with fishy. I, yeah, I try things and it works. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah, so so look, right here, man, it's got a pothos plant. Look, look how it trails down. That would be ideal sat in there because the, the lead for the Kessel can then come down with it and it will just tie in nicely. Well, get the light on so we can get building. Light up. <laughs> the Kessel is hooked on. Look, so Matt, what have you hooked it with? Uh, it comes with like a key ring and a screw hook, so that would normally obviously attach to either the goose, well no, the gooseneck screws into the top of the kettle. Yeah. So yeah, that hook is for like their hanging kit, so normally it's on like a, I suppose like a bicycle cable really, I suppose that's the easiest way to describe it. But yeah, we've hung them from chains in the shop and all sorts of different You things. can hang it anywhere. Uh, anywhere actually, it's sitting nicely flat as well, because I was worried that it was going to I'm hoping it, but... so, I've got to plug it in yet, but oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm that's... hoping, hoping. It's all coming together though, look, stepping back. For that. Yes, I mean I hate that wire, but we're gonna we're gonna try and disguise that. But remember that hardscape we got is massive, so oh, it'll yeah, probably just sit behind that. Bring the hardscape down in behind it as well, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is brilliant. The dogs are so confused. Um, they think because this is wood, it's their wood. There's a tree in their house. <laughs> we put it down, first of all, over there out of shot because we thought it would look better to do this. Um, <laughs> one of them was chewing this piece. Now we're here, just saying, this piece of wood looks <laughs> massive. It does look far bigger when you get it here, doesn't it? <laughs> I think we should just... Oh, we might as well do the background first. Yeah, we'll do We've got the background. black background to go on. Is that already... Ready to go? Yeah, because I'm going to blade it, but yeah. Okay, we're, we're recording and we're dog sniffing slash chewing. Have you got a ready shot? Okay, pull yours taut, mind you. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. So we've got a few options. Either we put the wood in straight away and then surround it in rocks, or we've got some slate that we could drill a hole in and then sort of screw to the bottom. But that sounds way too technical for us. <laughs> So we're probably just going to chuck it in and hope for the best. Be right, the background's on. Um, we're now going to size up this wood. <laughs> Are you thinking, though, should we just chuck it in and just hope for the best with the rocks on top? Well, like, just plop and done. Like that. No, I mean in terms of getting it locked down. <laughs> done. <laughs> no, it's not... It's, first of all, I would say that's the wrong side. You reckon? The side. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> that voice you can hear over the side. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Yes, but it also will be angled yeah, the other be way. Yeah, that way. Right yeah, so there. we can use a boulder underneath like that. Hang on, this is your tank. Put it however you want it, Matt. Yeah, I wanted it the other way, but now I'm not. No, we did, to be fair, we did say that it needed to be the other side. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like that. It's okay. not that big. No, I think it's quite it's cool. It's quite big. It's quite big, but it's very like, wow, look at my piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> right, stick the other piece in. Show me what you're going to do with it. What that? Have you? What is that? Uh oh. What's that? No dinner for you tonight. Well, you've eaten up with that bit. <laughs> Wasn't. I told you. I told you. It's that looks good already, actually. And in fact, it doesn't need to be leaning the other way. That's quite good. A bit more angle, I'd say. You reckon on that one? Yeah. Ooh. When you step back, you'll see it. That's much more like it. Sort of locks in there. Oof. This could work massively well. Oh, like and they actually go together, colour-wise. Yeah, they do. Match up nicely. Cool. Let's get some boulders in. 
Unless you're well, well, off camera, we'll discuss. But I mean, we need to. Yeah, you want it more that way. Oh, I think so. He's very much under the light. That's true. He's quite shadowy, but that could be good. It creates tension. So much it? tension in the so room. So much tension. That shadow tension. <laughs> No, it might work, it might work. Okay. Well, we've got some boulders, but the camera's struggling with the whiteness of this at the moment. So I'm just gonna put like a dusting of sand down and um, yeah, it won't be so sort of contrasty and weird. Right, we've had a fiddle with our wood. It was very enjoyable. Don't make it weird, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I've added the sand. So um, we've got a bit more angled that way. We're going to get some boulders in now. We haven't left a lot of room at the back for plants, but you know, Matt actually didn't want to go massively plant heavy, did you? No, we. Yeah, I think it's a bit more open swimming space for them. I you're like the you're idea. a fish keeper first and foremost. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you're a bit more scapey planty. I'm a bit more fishy. <laughs> Only on a hot day though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, it's staying in. Um, <laughs> right, let's get some cobbles in. We've also left a little. Like this naturally has got like a section we can put a cobble on the top that will lock it down But obviously we've got to build around all that first next job We're gonna to have to remove the wood back out because we want to put all of the substrate Which is fluval stratum good stuff. We're gonna put it in this bag and it's gonna sit right on the base now There's not gonna be a huge amount of plants. But it's actually gonna be brilliant for water quality. So yeah, it's not Necessary like I wouldn't say it's just an added sort of bit of security moving forwards. Yeah, and also you can't do it when you're afterwards. You know, if you put everything together and you've got all your rock and scape, you want to put that in afterwards. You can't. It's too late, isn't it? It's yeah. done. So yeah. yeah, definitely worth getting in, even if you're not worried about the plants. And to be fair, this scape might evolve. You might find later on you want to move stuff, and then you've already got all of everything you need in place. <sighs> oh, scissors! There we go. Her name was Roma. She got in the way all the time. Full bag, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, yeah, It'll be fine. Loads of space. <laughs> boom. Very unnecessary boom. Slug it. Now, not only is this going to help with water quality, because all Aquasaur does. It's going to give us a platform to put the wood on so that we can get exactly what angle we want. We did stick a bit of rock under there just then, but it's not the greatest thing to do. Um, this is going to be way better. Get that wood back in. Fish up. Let's fish up. That's rock. <laughs> ah! Loads of people liked You know when I said, let's fish up and questioned it? Yeah. Loads of people liked it. I'm definitely t-shirting it. <laughs> you got it At now, some point. You? Remember, oh, that cool. can rest against the side of the tank if you want. Yeah, one. And as if by magic, we're ready for boulders. Let's just keep going, let's just keep going. We're running out of time. We're at the pub way too long. <laughs> <laughs> We've given ourselves like two hours to skate this. It's like a speed skate, isn't it? We're at the pub and we've had an idea. Where am I looking? I don't even know. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> we're, a few, we're a few pints in. Yeah, but not enough that it isn't real. Oh, it's real. Oh, it's yeah. real. Yeah, I just said, if you're over two pints in, then you're talking rubbish. Yeah. But before two pints, it's real. So we've been talking about an, a trip to the Amazon. Me and Matt vlogged the whole thing from start to finish, including pick up the airport, all, all the nitty gritty of it. Um, we will be fully dressed as old school Attenborough tan and tan nets. Yeah. Like catching nets. Oh yeah, absolutely. And one of those brimmed hats. Brimmed hats yeah. the whole time. Uh, and we're just in, just putting the feelers out there and who would like to see that if you'd like to see that let us know because this could be happening we've already actually looked up the costs yeah when it's happening yeah january apparently is the near, nearest like, yeah, expedition we want to have a look because i don't know about rainy seasons and stuff we want rainy season the more drama the better all right yeah okay yeah, cool yeah, yeah. yeah i'm game the audience wants entertainment rainy season's where it's at rainy? It? i don't even know i don't know you won't catch much but it'll be very damp I we don't need to catch they it. are called rainforests for a reason i don't think we even need to see any fish no no we don't no as long as one of us gets bitten by a spider i'm sure it'll be entertaining what <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so no, we're not going, but let us know what you think. Right, the biggest boulder is now going in. I don't know if I can squeeze it. Perhaps Matt's question, do you need help? You're all right. You do need help, but do you need help with the tank? <laughs> 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 oh, Christ, that didn't sound great. <laughs> what are we saying? What do you think? I like that. You what like that? I like the big rocks. I like big rocks too. So our idea was that we were going to put a big foreground, but when we think it's going to be better to put just tons of big, big boulders and stuff, just have a dusting at the front just to sort of frame it all. 
That should work well. I think it'll look really nice, and then a bit of greenery in amongst the boulders. I mean, nothing's going to ever be set in stone. To I, I always no. say that. <laughs> set in stone. Oh what? yeah, because mm. it's the. I always say that, and then I never move it. <laughs> I go. I always go. Like just play around with it, chuck a few bits in, and then I just leave it. <laughs> as long as you're happy with it. Exactly. You, know, you can be overcritical of escape. Nature just looks good if you chuck it in. I think. Yeah. Chuck, you, chuck more in, Matt. It's easy, isn't it? Medium-sized boulder. Oh yes, booty. Booty. I've got the big other boy, but I'm not sure if he's going to be a bit. I think if you can tuck him into that gap. That's what I'm thinking. Please don't drop it. I know it is quite terrifying, if I'm honest. <laughs> oh my god, there's not much space to work with. I'm going to put a big gouge down the front of my new tank. Oh, that is so tight. I'm going to push the bubble over. That's all right. You can readjust that, can't you? Oh, it's so big, it looks wicked. It tucks into that wood. As yes. Well. Yes, good shout. Great shout. And then that will pull back together in a minute. And, oh. then, and then if we're surrounding... Yeah, it's good because it's all off-centre. Yeah? yeah, so you've got your rule of thirds or whatever that rubbish <laughs> is. I don't really go by that, but I know that's a thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That, that is a thing. I'm happy if it looks good. That is, that's <laughs> looking good to me already. We need just... Now we need to downsize all around it. Yeah. And also get one to lock into that back section. And then I think... And then I think we can put fish in. Done. <laughs> yeah. But maybe water first. Oh yes, yes, they, apparently they need that. Look at that, no messing. Just chucking it in. I yeah. always say that though, don't I? Just chuck it in. Yeah. And it looks so realistic and good. Um, we're not gone too big on details just yet because we now need to fill in all the gaps with sand that, uh, and that's what we're planting to. So obviously we've got the soil there, but it's covered in the mesh. So we need enough of a planting amount. We might struggle in some areas, but I always find if you push the plants in hard enough, they'll penetrate the soil bag and then they'll, that'll lock it in as well. Yeah. I knew you'd be laughing at penetrate. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, what is wrong with your mind? Katie's a teacher, you know, and she's still so filthy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, so Matt's just filling up that whole back section with the finer gravel. We've got another bag of more coarse stuff as well, which is all it's, it's all good to um, plant into. But the benefit of this is if you fill in all these gaps, you're not going to have a bunch of areas for like detritus and waste to just collect. So um, any fish in there can stir it all up, get it in the water column, and then it'll just get caught up in the filter as well. There you go. Look, we can, you can see there we filled in all those middle sections. I reckon white was a really bad choice. I should have got you black, shouldn't I? Just, just for reflections. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is why I always wear black. Okay, It's because I can, yeah, like it doesn't show in the glass. But yeah, you can see there that like we filled everything in and then we can put more coarse on top and that gives us even more planting room. Room? Room. D depth. But a bit of both. Space. Matt, can you not brush without me? filming what, what's going on you know the rules but that's it put that back put that back right now rebrush <laughs> can we step back first though because let's just show that we're loving that haven't we oh it's cool you're really happy i mean obviously this is in your house so there's me saying we're loving that it but... looks better than what i thought it was going to look it looks better much better that sounds like you weren't expecting my skills to come no, through I, I had a vision in my Our head skills yeah i had a vision in my head with that piece of wood yeah but it wasn't anywhere as good as this like yeah and that's why you called in the pros uh, of course <laughs> yeah the pros being me and you who've uh, literally just chucked all this in yeah. in gone, about 10 minutes. robbed it out of my garden. Yeah. <laughs> it in. This is the thing, Matt's got all this stuff at the store, but he knew he wanted this rock, which is from the garden. And I think because it's got these little bits of algae in that on it, it looks aged, it looks good, like so good. I mean, we love river boulders, don't we? Yeah. Matt, you need to find a supplier of decent sized boulders for the shop. because I, I know where these come from. Oh. I bought all of these. Okay, right, get them in the shop. I'll, I'll, I'll have a chat with them. Okay, cool. Oh, it's really warm. Right, we just add in some more details in with these little rocks. And then Matt's got some scatter gravel there as well. I'm just going to do a little bit first. Just, just to see? To... Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Works. We don't want to go heavy on it, I don't think. No, no, it just needs to be... It fills in the space, doesn't it? Yes. From grade to grade to grade, so... That is the key, is the multi-graded stuff. Hang on. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've got to get it in there. The goose. Half of that's on the Who floor. Who invited that wildlife? <laughs> it's 
day two. The baby's being quite, sorry, that, you don't say the baby. the baby. That's a man thing. It's day two. Quid is being quiet. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> Come in this morning, right, we've noticed over in this corner, because this is somewhere it's gonna be viewed from. We do need something down here, it looks a bit empty, so another sort of boulder will be good. We've got so many plants, Matt, just, <laughs> we've, got, we've got way too many plants. Yeah, uh, we got, can take some back, though, can't yeah, we? Yeah, I'll take some back to her, but I got a bit carried away. Yeah, definitely. yeah. Well, we didn't know the setup was gonna be so rock heavy. No. We knew it would be lots of rock, but we thought we'd have more planting space, but I think it would be better as a more minimalist planted tank anyway, because yeah. the rocks look so good. I think they look really cool. They look proper rocky. I want to rock. No, um, yeah, no, they're cool. They are looking really good. And this one up here ties it all in. Once you've got some plants around here. And it's not going anywhere. No, that is not. Locked in. Um, we've got to prepare all these plants now. Oh, I hate them. doing probably that. Probably fill the tank up as well would help. After we've hmm. planted them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got to, today we've got to plant. Yep. We've got to fill. Yep. We've got to filter. Yep. And we've got to fish up. Yeah. I had to get that in there. Fish up. Right, all the crypts are now prepared. We've got crypt baketi yi yi. I don't know why this e e thing is there. E i i and crypt pechi e i i. I i. <laughs> and then we've got wenditi e e i. When when wenti. Wenti. Well, I think wenti just. Wenti yeah. sounds good. Yeah, we'd go with that. Matt is now gonna commence planting. Look at these tweezers he's got. They've got the Owazi ones. They're like. Proper thick and heavy duty. They are like, yeah, you ain't They're bending massive. now. <laughs> they are, aren't they? They are nice. <laughs> okay, so we've what we're deciding to do is like, in the mid ground, there's got lots of little pockets, haven't we? And we think that'll be really good just for the crypts. They're going to start sort of exploding out there, growing lots. We've got some smaller plants for the foreground as well. We might have to fill in a bit more plant, uh, uh, sand in some of those areas, but that should look good as well. Yeah, we're not going up. crazy heavy, are we? No, so, no. Well, <laughs> say that now. We we might have brought a lot of plants, but uh, yeah, I don't think we need them all. So, if it was my tank, we would m have to use them all, and then oh, I could, the comment section would section would fill, filled with, "You always overplant your tanks." <laughs> yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it plants does. plants are good. And the thing is, then you know which ones are going to work. That's true. Okay, how, what, how are you doing? I wanted to go in there, but oh, there's that. I'm going to have to take his roots back. Oh, there's else. that little gap. Yeah. I don't know if I can get it without actually destroying that. the hole. Yeah. Yeah, you get him in there. Go on, boy. Go on. <laughs> that wiggle. <laughs> and then just chuck some sand on top of it. That top bit. Push some of those smaller and bits on. It. That's it. And that'll lock it in with the weight. All good. And it instantly looks good. Love it. Right. Now we're going to do the whole lot. Three, two, no. <laughs> <laughs> time lapse. Time lapse. This is why I love Crips, to be honest, because they give the most natural look. If you step back, it looks like it's been there forever, doesn't it? They're so, yeah, they settle in so nice. And we've got completely different shades here with all the different types. It's, it's good to get a mix that the one plant that can go anywhere higgledy-piggledy and just looks so natural and good. Loving that. Next, what's the next? Should we fern it? I think so, yeah. Let's do the ferns. Let's see where they're going to go. Okay, we've got some Java ferns. What was it, um, narrow leaf or is it just normal? I think they were normal, but they've grown really, like, quite clumpy and quite sort of, yes, yeah, narrow leaf. But I think they were normal. Hercules. You have a fernage. They're back from the aquascape. Shall I go? You go where you want. Yeah, I go. I found a nice little gap there. I might have to glue. But... Yeah, I might have to glue. That's it, yes. And then we've got one more, I think. We have got one more. And that can go... Oh, yeah, we're going to bring yeah. it on this side, yeah. Just because we need... Well... No, it does. Yeah? Because you'll have the high grow there, and otherwise that'll be a really big group of stem plants with nothing in front. Yeah, true. I normally say that if you put something on one side, you at least want a hint of it on the other, and it just... It, I don't know, it just... Because you probably would see that, you know? You wouldn't just get, like, a plant dotted and then nowhere else. Um, oh, it's looking so good, man. Yeah, it's looking really <laughs> nice. I mean, that's a big piece, but... Oh, go big, you know? It's looking good. It's looking so good. Did, did mine need glue in, Matt? I, I think I've wedged it. I okay, think. cool. There was a little stick that I was able to put it behind. So. so good. It's going to be shimmering like crazy as well because of the water flow. We'll talk about the filter in a minute. We've got the Oase Biomaster. 600. It's all been set up off camera and Matt has done a full sort of review for his channel. 
Um, his channel's link is in the description, by the way, so follow him. Um, Thank you're you doing much. well, aren't you? Yeah, doing it's well. good. It's really good fun. Yeah, Just about to hit 10,000 subscribers yeah. already. That's crazy. Yeah, the community is really cool. Like Everyone's really like good and answering questions with each other. It's a really nice thing to have. Wicked. And there's a, well, you've done quite. A, you've done a couple of reviews. Yeah. You predominantly do um, like more informational stuff, yeah. less just messing around like me. <laughs> yeah, more educational. At the moment. Anyway. At the moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it will get that. I'm sure it will get. Yeah. That. Eventually, when we start like traveling the countries and stuff, and uh, we can do like dual vlogging. Yes. Yeah. Mine can be serious and educational, and yours can be you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You're not serious at all. So no, don't no. act like you <laughs> yeah. don't act like you're all like hello, I'm Matthew and today we're looking at the skim <laughs> thing two thousand. No, I'm ne definitely not serious, no. Well, let's carry on with the planting. <laughs> so we're gonna be a little bit cheeky. It doesn't matter though, it's something you can do. We're gonna keep the Echinodorus we've got here in the pots because if we plant them at the moment, they're gonna tuck right behind here and you won't even see the top of them. So if we do this, they'll continue to grow. Now they've been sat in these pots in the wall, in plant vats, you know, they're, they're not gonna be leaching any sort of nutrients or anything, are they? It's no. all gonna be absolutely fine. Um, plus it means we get that height on it that we want. We've got some really nice colors coming through. Am I picking it up? There you go, look, some pink, pinks coming through. Because uh, these were sat under kessels before and they're, you know, sat under a kessel now. So that's gonna look so good in that back area. Adding a little different bit of color as well. Look, yeah, there you go, look at that Amazing. leaf. Look at that, booty. Right, tuck them in, Matt. Tuck them in. There you go, look at that, see? Yeah, you wouldn't see that if you took it out. No. And then as they grow taller, we can take them out of the pot and then plant them in the soil and then you're still gonna see them, they're still gonna get maximum light and look really good. I've never done that before myself, but I know you can. And yeah, it's, uh, we've done it quite a bit and it'll give them a couple of weeks to send out bigger leaves and yeah, you can keep an eye on it. If they look like they're struggling, then take them out and plant them. It's quite easy. You know, yeah, if they yeah. don't look like if a lot of the new leaves or, or you're not getting new leaves coming through, just take them out. But I can keep a close eye on it here. Yeah, anyway. exactly. There you go. So look how good they look just like up the back there. And then there's that one middle section where that pebble is, you can see. So that can be planted into a deep amount of sand there. So Matt's just taking that one last plant out, take the rock wool off and get that one planted. It'd be interesting to see actually, will that one grow faster and better than the it probably won't make a difference. No, I wouldn't have thought so, but it will be interesting to see. <laughs> because our aquasol is so far down, um, the roots will still find it eventually. Um, you're gonna have to need, you're gonna need to dose the water column, I yeah. think, and initially, at yeah. least. Well, no, continuously. I mean, well, yeah, it doesn't hurt. You know, you can. It depends how much growth you want, but I'll yeah, dose it for a few weeks and see how we get on. Yeah. That looks so effing cool <laughs> off camera i swore um, <laughs> but it looks it looks like like this could be a terrarium at this stage do you know yeah. what i mean yeah that looks could. like the edge of a forest somewhere and it's only going to get better as we fill it up with water and put fish in there fish tanks are just terrariums with water aren't they yes yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> right we're in a bit of a predicament aren't we yeah because this looks so good at the moment um there's those negative spaces behind it do we put in stem plants? Stem plants take a lot of trimming, a lot of looking after, looking after especially after they get going. Uh, Matt wants this kind of low maintenance. You don't, you're happy to do a bit, aren't you? Yeah, I like, I like a bit of maintenance, but yeah, you've got to keep on top of the stem plants, and I'm not too sure. <laughs> you're a busy man. You just I'm had a busy. baby. Yeah, you're that's a that's manager it. of a shop that's yeah. open 24-7. Mm, no, seven days, so, yeah, <laughs> seven days a week. Yeah, seven days a week. That's very different to 24-7. Imagine seven. a 24-7 fish shop. That'd no. be awesome. No. That's right. That's the plans for the future. <laughs> we'll just live there. Well, I could get on board with that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I could get on board with that. So here's the predicament. The black edging is really framing it really well. Negative space, you sort of call that. And if we fill that with hygrophilic polysperma, which is what we've got left, which is a fast growing stem plant, it's gonna cover in that black in no time and create a wall of green, which can look good. It can look good, can't it? But yeah. I feel like with that negative space there and the fish, you're gonna see the fish a bit more. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it just adds depth as well. And we can use floating plants as our fast nutrient absorption. Yeah, that's it. And they're all broadleaf at the moment as well. They're all yes. like of a similar style. Yeah, I get it. Um, yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, I don't know if stem would just then look like it looks a bit odd. <laughs> Shouldn't be there sort yeah. of thing. I'm, I'm with you. Let's just fill this up. Done. Fill it up and then we can fish up. Okay, we've got something cool. We're getting out into Matt's garden. Matt, are we allowed to film in the garden? Yeah. You've got the dog poo up, yeah? 
<laughs> this is Matt's pond. Look at this. Look, we've got a waterfall. This deserves a video in itself. And Matt has just come down here and he is hunting. What I are you hunting? Him. There's a baby frog that I wanted to see. Baby frog. Do, 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 do. No, he's gone. Is he gone? Yeah, he's only the size of a 50 pence piece. Oh. Do you get many frogs in this pond? Quite a few, yeah. For this to go in the video, we have to find the frog. If there's no frog, there's, there's nothing. There's so many crevices. It's no frog, it's just yeah, it's just Matt <gasps> fishing. Have you found the frog? He's really active though. <laughs> He's going to jump straight away, yeah. isn't he? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he went down here. Oh, uh, he'll be all right in there, won't he? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there he is. We've got bigger ones in there. Have you? Where are you going? That's it, let him jump straight in. Wait! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Look at that, I love the sound. What are you doing? This is proper naturalistic, isn't it? Yeah. That's that word again. Naturalistic, yeah. I just. Let it do what it wants to do. We need to be careful of you on the edge though, Matt, because Matt's just told me he can't swim. <laughs> Says he's not buoyant. I'm not buoyant, <laughs> I sink. I sink, I promise you. Oh, and then we come back in here to the tank. So, so good. Matt, we need to fill. Is Phil coming? <laughs> oh. The tank is now filled up. You might have seen then during the time lapse that we added in this uh, Monstera plant. So you can just add any Monstera to, to water and it converts pretty quickly, actually, I found before. It's just got some cable wrapped around it there. And Matt has just cut it off of this one here. I didn't know you could just break it off anywhere. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just cut them off as long as you've got the node. So as long as you've got the sort of one of the leaf nodes, you can see a new root coming on that bit there. Oh yeah. So yeah, and as soon as you put that into water, it will start throwing roots down. But you don't necessarily need to cut them off. You could just put a vase of water, dip the root in, and it will. Yeah, root that's into that. that's what I did. I just yeah. I took all the soil off. That's it. I thought yeah. you had to do it like that. I didn't know you could snap off like sections, but that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. And underneath the tank is the filter that we're using. So um, this is a uh, oh, what? Oh, it's too dark. There we go. <laughs> oh, well, I say Biomaster six hundred. Is it 600? Yeah, it's the 600, 600 yeah. Model, yeah. So it's got a built-in heater, which is awesome. So you don't need to have that tech inside the tank because it always, it never looks good, does it? It's got a built-in pre-filter as well, which is cool. Um, you just take that out once a week. It, well, you're supposed to, I think. Yeah. I mean, I leave it about. When I did have them, I think I left mine for like two months. Yeah, they're not too bad. As long as the flow's still working, as long as that's still Oh, pumping. is she working? Yeah, she's working. <laughs> um, as long as she's, as she's still working, then it's fine. <laughs> right, so all you've got to do now is press the... Uh, the primey prime. The prime prime. And then we get the squirt squirt. Yeah. And, and uh, hopefully I've tightened up all the seals. Oh, 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 oh. Seal. Oh, there we go. That was one, one pump. That's that's a, that worked a treat. That's because you set it up right. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sometimes I don't want to cut all the pipes, so I loop it round four times and then plug it in. Yeah, that's Yeah, you shouldn't nightmare. do that. You shouldn't do that. We're going to have to top this up again, aren't we? Yeah. Tell you what, Matt, this is actually a really good angle as well from here, which is good because you're going to be sat down, yeah. you know, having some breakfast or something. Yeah. That's yeah. why I like it here because it's between the both rooms. You can see it from the living room. You can see I it like from it. the breakfast. I can see it from here. Can you see it well, Katie? Really yes. Well. You're gonna be in, of an evening, fish swimming everywhere. Yeah. Oh, you, congratulations, you have one of the best looking aquascapes I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm quite happy with it, to be honest. Good. <laughs> and we're not even done, we're nowhere near done. Oh, we better switch the filter on, to be fair. Is it ready to go? Yeah, well, I hope so. Let's, hey. let's hope it doesn't do what. Oh. Maybe. Uh, yes, we're good. Here we go. Well, the water's in. The filter, that's just air bubbles, by the way. Micro air bubbles, it's not like a dust thing. So we're all good. Yeah, water's in, filter's on. You know what's left? Let's fish up. <laughs> we're live. No, you we're live. <laughs> Back in the shop. It feels weird filming in the shop. Yeah, it's a bit odd now, isn't it? We've just been to the pub again. Uh, it's just becoming a habit. <laughs> so uh, this is the fish, the main fish wall, isn't it, Matt? Yep. This is where the fish you want. So we're going for rare, some rare tetra that are in that you've never had before ever. No, no. In how many years? Uh, 15, 16 15 in the years. trade. Yeah. That qualifies as rare, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let's show them, let's Two show species, actually. Two? Two. There's another one over there. Oh, sweet. The more, the more horrible looking one. 
The more horrible. <laughs> okay, fish number one. These bad They've boys. Got a really boring common name. So they're called like a red line or a red stripe tetra. Cool. Um, but they are so cool with that like lime green, red stripe, red tail, red eye. They're just really cool. Isn't that funny that the, the line goes right through the eye? So yeah. the eye's half red and half like multicolored y, like. Yeah, weird that's silvery cool. green and yellow, it's isn't kind it? Kind of rainbowy. Yeah, that's so cool. Maybe that's just the camera. <laughs> no, they are. They're, you can see it in them. There's a definite sort of tint to them. So they're really cool, really nice little fish. But yeah, haven't had them in 15, 16 years. Never been able to get hold of them. Size reference, look. There we go. They're a good size Tetra, to be fair. And they're mad, generally. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, look. Look at that. That's pretty cool. The feeding response that's to them is great. awesome. Uh, how many of those are you going to pick? It's going to have to be a good green. I reckon. Probably 18, 24. All of them. All of them. That might be a bit mad. They're up on my floor. But yeah, I think a good group of them, because they're not a small tetra. They get, uh, online it says they get sort of five, six centimetres, but I, looking at them there, they look like they get bigger. Mm. You know, you look at a couple of these bigger boys, they are chunky, yeah. so. So how many? I reckon about 24. 24, yeah. very specific. Okay. Uh, it's just because we, we sell in groups of six, don't we? So it's just, <laughs> my brain works in groups of six. But right. yeah, I reckon 20-ish. I think will be a good number with the other ones we're looking at. Which are? Do you want, do you want, me, to, do you want me to go? Do me yeah. To... This will be sped up like crazy. These guys. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Kyberzi Tetra. Now they're not as pretty at the moment. They're a little bit bigger. Definitely a little Much bit more bigger. thuggish. Yeah. They've got quite a big mouth to them, so they can be a little bit territorial and they can be a little bit nippy with long fin fish, but they should be good with the tetras that I'm looking at. Oh yeah, look, there we go. We've got better, better details on them, like a spot, like a reddish spot yeah, all over them. Yeah, they get all those red spots to them, so they look like they've got sort of chicken pox. <laughs> to be fair, these are going to look way better in your tank. Yeah. Uh, a, the lighting, B, the greenery and the natural sort of setting. Exactly. They're going to colour up and look just so much better. Yeah, this is it. So yeah, and then they get like a, once they're older, they get like a yellowy orange hue to the back of the tail. So, yeah. Hue? Oh, is he coming? He's coming as well, yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's it for the Tetris. Then there must be what cleanup crew. So yeah, I've been thinking of cleanup crew. There's a few different bits and pieces. Um, irritatingly, like, wow, there's a few different ones. <laughs> there's, there's too many. That's the problem. I've got to think of my stirbys because my stirbys are going to move over from my discus tank eventually okay. when I redo my discus tank. But cleanup crew, I'm leaning towards. I'm not though. That's the problem. I don't know. We've got to go shopping. <laughs> there's no leaning. We need to go shopping. Well, you want some Amanos to start with, yeah? Of course, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I've got to keep an eye on the Kyberzies, but yeah, I think Amanos will do I think they'll be fine, fine with that. Yeah, they're not... Because yours good. aren't tiny, tiny, nope, your Amanos. they're chunky, they're big enough, and there's a lot of plant in there that they're going to be able to hide away. Yeah. Um, Martin's just got loads of Corydoras in, so I, I think I've got to pick through them. There's, okay. There's new species that I've got to look at. So it's funny, you, you, so you class Corys as cleanup crew? Well, they, they stop they any, do. any detritus building up. They'll, they'll stir anything up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. So, you, I suppose you're right. Yeah. Yeah, they're not. They're not a major sort of proper cleanup crew, but yeah, they do help you in sort of keeping the sand sifted and everything like that. Um, I think you know we're gonna have to have a look at a sucker mouth catfish of some description. So I think a little group of bristle noses because they'll just keep those yes. big pebbles clean. They're they will, wouldn't clean. they? Or yeah. gobies? gobies. I know it's not. We've not got any big ones, so I'd want some decent chunky ones. The okay. only other guys we've got. What are you going for? Uh, I'm going to go for a little gloop, group of. Uh, gloop? Little <laughs> That's gloop, the beer. A little group of clown plecos. There's okay. Too many, too many words. So these little guys in here, just sat in the wood there. Oh, yeah, wicked. Yeah, really cool. So don't Great, get... I love plecos because yeah. you never see them. Yeah. <laughs> these guys are quite. Outgoing a little bit. They're how many? How many? Because that's going to determine if we see them or not. Uh, I think a trio. So Martin's going to try and tell the differences. Martin's going to try and find a male and two females. Okay. Um, so I yeah, I think a nice little trio and they'll be good. I look forward to seeing their best hiding places. Yeah. <laughs> and then Corey Wise, I think we've decided as well. Yeah, I just might have fallen in love with the little group of skunks that Martin's got. Skunk up Corys. Look at how cool they look. That line that just goes. Well, you can see why they're called skunk Corys, obviously. Yeah, they're wicked. So how many of them? Well, I think there's a group of eight up there. So yeah. I'll have a look in the tank in a minute, but I think if it's a group of eight, I'll go all eight. Okay, eight of those, three of the clown plex. Yeah. And then how many of Arnos? Scoop. Scoop, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's no see. need to count. There's no need to count. <laughs> We're back from the fish shop. Um, 
we've got a lot of fish. And there was an extra tetra that Matt picked out last yeah. minute, which I didn't film because I thought it could be a nice surprise going in. Yeah. Um, first thing, are we temperature acclimating? I mean, everything's so warm everywhere at the moment. I can check. We could check, couldn't we? we? Could and check. then we could check. find out. But this was... Yeah, see, that's going to be the same now. Now the heat has been it's, running and everything. Yeah, it's been a couple of... A good few hours. Yeah, that's warm, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, straight up. Oh, just before we went to the fish shop, you stuck in a big uh, water conditioner, didn't you? So yeah. there's no chloramines and chlorines, mm -hmm. dorines. Yeah, none of them. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. Yeah, we... Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cool. <laughs> yep, so that's all done. Yeah, it's up at 25 degrees. So 25? Fine. So we can do it. The shop, the shop runs at a maximum of 25, 26. Except for the disco system, yeah? Oh, yeah, except for them, yeah. But we weren't on that. No, we were not. Um, and there's nothing else in it, so all the fish can go straight in together. They've all been on the same system anyway, haven't yeah. they? So. Yeah, they are all on the same system. What so. are you going for first? Clean up crew? Yeah. Because it's always good to do, I think it's always good to do clean up crew first because then you've got the big pizzazz. Pizzazz? 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 Do you know what we forgot? Uh oh. I don't think we picked up a manis. Oh no. But you had fine. one job. Well, then, you know, you job. can add. Yeah, I can add them. Be... Add them. A manis or a manos, people. That's it. All not the cool to stuff not to dis here. Yeah, all the cool stuff. Not to discredit the Amanos. No, you know? no, they're very good. But we can put my cool clean up crew in here first, can't we? Yes, the skunkies, yeah? No. Oh no, the, I forgot. The clown placos. I forgot the clown placos. Oh yeah, I was chatting away. Yeah, yeah. I had some people turn up at the store that knew knew who I was, so they wanted to be chatting, so I missed <laughs> half of that. But um, Yeah, look at those. So yeah, Martin's hopefully picked us out a, a couple of girls and a boy. But yeah, definitely big girl, but I'm not sure on uh, the other ones, because they're quite small at the moment. They're going to hide straight away, aren't they, Matt? No. Oh. <laughs> I hope they're not. Okay, uh, let me set up the tripod for this. Sorry, Martin does his bags up differently to me. Yeah, the water, you, I always release all of your fish now into my tank yeah. with the water, because I know your water's probably better than mine. Yeah, unless it's fluoro green, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, and even then, that's a good treatment, you know. Well, yeah, so, that's it. It's free there, yeah? Yeah, there's free. Yeah, a little trio. So one male, two females, yeah? Yeah. And they're never to be seen again. Goodbye. Oh no, straight on the rock. That's exactly See, what we wanted. Look perfect. It's quite a cool. Will they stay this sort of yellowy brown? Yeah, they'll get more stripy as they. Or the stripes will get a bit more sort of prominent as they grow up. Okay, and this one's just what we wanted for. You wanted them because keep these rocks clean, basically. Yeah, yeah. As an alternative to bristle nose, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I've got a group of bristle nose in the other tank that will probably end up going in here, possibly. But yeah, I quite like it when you get that sort of slight haze over the rocks. I quite like it. I think yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. really nice and natural. So Especially boulders and rounded boulders like these. It does look way more rivery, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I don't want them to perfectly clean it, but I can always add more at a later date. Just grazing. Or can you do the skunks next? Skunks next? Yes. Yes. Yeah, no, they're not too big at all. The, uh, there's two groups, you see. One group was like almost double the size of that, Yeah, they were they? fully grown adults, so yeah. they were really chunky compared to these. But yeah, these which wouldn't nice be a problem, size. but it's nice to have the, the smaller ones to grow in and everything, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. And they'll look in keeping with the tetras while the tetras are growing and everything yeah. like that. So, no, I think the, the smaller ones are a lot nicer. There's scissors if you want them. Down the bottom. Go, go, go. And here we go. Why are you into the bag? <laughs> I literally stand by it. You are the worst fish releaser ever. I am. I've not got used to it. I've not got used to it. They just want to stay in the bag for me. It's going to be a while before they get comfortable, but they always do these things, don't they, first of all? Go down, stay still. Yeah, like, that's it. Where am I? Yeah. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why they are called the skunk quarry. Because that line, the skunk, you get it? I'm sure you get it. It's not. What? No. Do you not know? Oh no, here we go. The they, muffin man. They release a smell when you take them out the water. Shut up. They do. No, they don't. I'm not... <laughs> Part of me is like, should I know this? <laughs> farting, no. farting Corydora. Yeah, farting Corydora. Have you not heard? Saying that, moss turtle. I mean, that's yeah, why that's I was it. starting to think it could yeah. happen. So, yeah. <laughs> But no, they don't fart. No. Well, maybe they do and we can't smell it. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, Matt? So these are, these are the ones that are a little bit mad. So these are Kyberzi Tetra. And they are rare as well, yeah? Yeah, so again, I've not been able to track these down in quite some time. So Martin managed to get these from one of our Colombian suppliers. 
Um, but you can see that massive sort of sling jaw mouth on yeah, them. Yeah, they That's are. why I've only got a little group of them, because they can be a little bit territorial. Yeah. So hopefully they'll lurk in amongst the Are they bitey? Rocks. A little bit bitey. They look quite bitey. Yeah, for longfin fish, they're bitey. Supposedly with all other tetras, they're okay. So Okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, we've kept them in the shop, and they've been fine with everyone else. To be fair, they got bullied by some other fish at one point. We had to move them out because they were... Okay. Yeah, they were getting bullied. So I'm hoping... Well, no, I'm, I know they'll be okay. No biting. <laughs> no. No. You'll be on timeout step. And in they go. Yes. I mean, with Tetris, you always get a good release, don't you? Yeah. They always do something good. They do. Look They're good. actually being quite chilled, quite yeah, cautious. They're, they're really good, actually. They look great, though. They do look cool. With those red spots on their backs, that is... Yes, I'll get that. Look, let me get that, because you couldn't see that in the bag. No. Quite an understated fish, but, you know, to someone like Matt, who's seen so many fish, you're more into the, uh, the less common and the less... Blingy, yeah, should we yeah, say? Yeah, definitely, yeah. The ones that, yeah, the ones that sort of blend in a little bit more. They are there we go. Look at my favourite. I've got the red there, look, Matt. Oh, look at that. Really interesting. And that, like you say, that big, massive jaw. It looks, yeah. like I said, it looks like, like a predator yeah. from the bottom of the sea, like a yeah, anglerfish it. or something. Yeah, I think they'll be, you know, they are micro predators, so they'll be taking out, you know, small, small sort of invertebrates, blood worms, and things that are living in the bottom of the rivers. So yeah, skunk still not moved. No, happy there. <laughs> no, he's happy there. He's chilling. <laughs> he's He'll chilling. be all right. Oh, okay. Next, next group. Oh, should we do the the surprise ones now? We could do the surprises. Yeah. Surprises. And then we've okay, got the cool. biggest shoal. The surprises are we do the rainbow tetra, weren't they? They are rainbow tetra. So essentially, they are a emperor tetra, but they males get a red eye, and get a little bit more colour to them. So they're a little bit stroppy at the moment, obviously. But yeah, they'll get like a bit of sheen, like a blue sheen down their back once they settle in. So they're a really Sweet. cool fish. Again, I think I might have had these once in the uh, long time I've worked in the shop. But In 15 years? Yeah, uh, maybe once, but I can't remember them. Again, when That's Martin rare. got them in. We're taking that. Yeah, That's when rare. Martin got them in, I was like, I haven't seen them in a long, long time. <laughs> they're a bit more common, but not massively. I've never seen them in there. No, no, so, they've not been in there since I've, yeah, since, you know, recent times, definitely not. Okay, let's see what these guys are going to do then, Matt. Tippity tip tip. Oh, they went right. They decided right was the place for safety. Yeah. The other guys went left, didn't they? Well, yeah, that's because they saw the guys over on the left. <laughs> and they went, not going over there with that lot. Oh, that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We've got mixing. We've got mixing. How, is there any aggression? No. We're all good, Mike. You wouldn't expect that at the moment because everyone's like, what is going on? Yeah, where are we? <laughs> Where's this real river we've landed in? <laughs> Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Are you ready? The final, the finale. The final. Finale? Is that the, is that the finale? It? Finale. Yeah. F fi finale. I can't, it doesn't sound, you know when you yeah, say stuff a few finale. times? Finale. Fin the end. <laughs> The, the last fish. And this is the only time that my wife has disappeared. And, and we she need would be her the one who English would skills, yeah. Yeah. S s it, do you find that sometimes, like, when you try and spell a word, yeah, and then you forget how to spell it, but you've got it right from the start, and you keep looking yeah. at it, and you're like, that's not it's right. It's so wrong. That's but wrong. it's definitely right. Yeah. Oh, there's several words I do that all the time, too. Okay, so what fish are these, anyway? <laughs> so, <laughs> these, are, these don't have a very cool common name. So these are like, they call them red stripe tetra or red line tetra. Yes. Um, they're lime green, well, goldy green, with then that red stripe through the sort of body and through the eye. Again, I um, haven't had them before. I've never been able to get hold of them. They're a bit of an oddity and a bit of a rarity. So, yeah, just a nice group of these guys in here. I think it's going to look fairly cool. So it is. OK, the red stripes are now going in. This is the big release because there's a 26 here, isn't there, Matt? Uh, yeah, there's a Give good a group, nearly 30, I think. <laughs> oh, is that? <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Here they come. Come to me. Come this way. <laughs> They're in the middle this time. <laughs> oh, wicked. All that. mingling. Yeah, they're all grouping together, lovely. Oh, there we go, look. They're already behaving really, really good. We've got a train of fish going along. All together, though. They're not, they're not even... No, they're not sticking to their separate groups. They're no. Just all shoaling as a group. Which is really, like... Would you see that in the wild? Um, there are, yeah. Well, yeah, you'll see several tetra species, or several species of shoaling fish living in similar areas, as long as they're not closely related. Um, you probably wouldn't... And point. size differences, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't get cardinals and neons living in the same river system, but, yeah, you would get def different species of tetra living together. It's wicked, though. Look at them whizzing backwards and forwards. 
And what I was, I was just saying to Matt off camera, I'm jealous because I haven't got any tanks at home at all now but since my silicon gave out on my tank that's like, I don't know, 12 years old. I mean, yeah. that's fair enough, isn't it? Well, there's a, there is a limited span to old school <laughs> silicon tanks. Yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, I think when I move house, I'm definitely doing something like this. It's wicked. And if you come back here as well from this angle where... You know, you're going to be like resting of an evening, evening watching a bit of telly or whatever. You look across, look at that. That's so cool. It works. It works so well. And like we said, I'm I'm glad we've not gone for stems. It gives it, I don't know, a much more real vibe. I might stop using stems, Matt. Yeah, I think it's it's tricky, isn't it? We were discussing it earlier, weren't we? But it's yeah, I think you get a jungly vibe from the broadleaf part. That's it. It looks really, really smart yeah. and, yeah, a bit more foresty. Foresty, um, jungly, maintainable, easy as well. We haven't gone for moss in this. A lot of aquascapers always use moss, but moss can be a pain in terms of maintenance. Um, you know, if you've got a busy schedule and stuff, like, yeah. it just grows so fast. And when you trim it, it go, grows in other places. Definitely, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. If you've got, like huge time on your hands but for someone who's yeah. literally just had a baby <laughs> yeah, no. time is not a commodity you can <laughs> no i can't waste it on things like cheering back my moss once a week <laughs> yeah it's not gonna happen so as always thanks matt so much for having me again allow me to set this up with you i want to make sure i give you guys a good cinematic as well showing you the whole tang in some good details some music so that's coming up next uh, if you've enjoyed this like subscribe comment ding bells and do things like that and i'll see you on the next one <laughs>